Everyone, welcome back to another Mobsters video. The Kraken series continues. Today's video, we're going to be tearing into the interior, or what's left of the interior. We're prepping the interior for paint, okay? That's what we're doing. So, I've made a start. I don't know how much I'm going to document once again, but the heater core exchange, all that stuff under the dash went wrong before we got the car and you can kind of see some evidence there and definitely a little bit more back there the whole thing leaked under the carpet along the floor here and has actually caused some surface rust and almost a little bit of pitting here and there in the floor and so i'm sanding all that up prep it for paint i'm gonna go this is the wrong process but I still think I'm putting too much effort into this interior anyway. So I'm going to sand the whole thing back. I'm going to chase all the seam sealer out, which is what I'm doing here. Because it annoys me. Because like most cars, um, they just kind of go, go ham with the seam sealer. That's not too bad. But then it's got some sloppy joppies here and there. And over there you can see a little bit more obvious. Um, so I'm going to get rid of all that. Pull up all the seam sealer. Then... Sand everything, probably a 180 pass, followed up by a 400 pass. Then I'm gonna wet and wet it and color. And then once all that's dried, I'll go back over that with seam sealer. And now I know you're meant to go primer, then you do, uh, you sand it, then you seam sealer, then you put color and clear over, but it's it's all getting covered by a sound deadening carpet anyway. And I think it still should look neat. I will either try and go for a color matched seam sealer or just a neat black seam sealer and I think it will still look really neat and nice so that's what I'm trying to achieve there we'll see how good it turns out but that's the goal so as you can see I've made a start on this half you can kind of see the car's storage so I'll probably do a half at a time uh I could have left the seam sealer definitely no need to do it but I'm a bit anal like that it was getting on my nerves I had to I nick a few bits while trying to clean up parts anyway so I'm like all right it's all coming off, so that's what I'm doing. Pull all the seam sealer on the interior. I'm probably gonna paint it in kind of two parts. I'll probably do the roof first, down to the A pillars, B pillar, C pillar, kind of stop there or something like that. And then that all get done. I'll mask that, cover that once it's all painted, when we'll do the floor and a separate pass and we'll just have kind of a, a, um, a feather, uh, feather mask, feather thing um fly mask i'll fly mask it so hopefully the join between the two won't be too nasty uh but it should look really really good i'm super excited for the interior so yeah i'll do some update videos and photos as i progress along um no nothing fascinating going to be going on here but it will look really neat when it's done so yeah enjoy Well, hey, that was great. A few weeks have passed probably from my last sanding video. I'm not quick, as everyone probably knows by now. Uh, I like to take my time. Anyway, important step today. We are doing some painting finally. We're going to paint the inside of the car, the interior. But we're doing it in two stages, okay? So we're going to go B pillar, B pillar, C pillar, A pillar kind of down there on the firewall, the roof, 
and then we're going to kind of stop where this seal goes and we're going to do it in two parts i'm going to master there paint the roof bit in this part and then wait for it to dry another day and then we're going to do the floor so i'm just about to mask everything off up in here everything sanded and prepped still got to wax and grease and clean everything and do a bit more spraying and yeah mask as i said and get everything hot got my heaters on here again um but it should look really good so yeah i'll uh, start masking up and then i'll start showing you the painting It's the next day because you know meeting take forever and painting is a bit of a process so kind of ran out of daylight to show you yesterday but top half is done and it's a uh, beautiful day today i wish it was that nice yesterday bloody having to shove half the paintwork in the or the uh, paint table in the garage so it wasn't raining and the stupid rain was coming down on the mad 45 degree angle so it had to come in the garage which was just swell why do you have to do that to me I hate rain. Anyway, um, 
I'll start unmasking the bad girl. And then I'll show you better, but uh, yeah, it's um, it's all done now. So I'll get the masking tape off, you know? Do the old, that fun process. Get that ASMR on? No. Alrighty, so we're in the interior and I shall reveal. Check that out, huh? Funny how my phone gets all weird with that. Uh, what do you call it? Oh, um. Don't know why it does the lens flare. So, the color, downshift blue. It's a uh, Mark V super color. It's a Mark V super color that only came, I think, in the early 2020 models, and I think only in the States. I can't really find it here in Oz, but there might be some here. Pretty rare color. Um, the original car color, like as you've seen in other outside videos, this car is black but it's been painted black, rattle cam probably, uh, previously. But it started off as like a bluey purple. And I'll go find the original colour because there's a few bits in like the door seals and stuff that I might put up in the video here to show you what it used to look like. But that was a nice colour. I always kind of wanted to do this as a purple, but this is like a really rich blue. Uh, it's got pearl in it. It's got a lot of metallic. It looks really nice. It's a great colour. Connor picked it out, so give props to him. Um, so, uh, it's definitely not perfect, which is annoying. Uh, my motto is kind of shoot for perfect. I'm never good enough to do perfect, so you just settle with what you get. But I always strive to go as hard as I can. But it's just, I just needed to put more clear in some spots. The roof doesn't quite have enough clear on it. And there's other spots um, where it could, uh, where is it? Up, up the top there, could do with a bit more clear on it. So it's just a little bit too... It's just a bit too fucking orange peel in some areas because it needed more clear. And of course there's bits that have got too much clear so there's the occasional run there too which is annoying. So, ah, fucking, ah. It, yeah, I just needed to gauge my clear better. I thought I gave the roof lots of coats but yeah, it wasn't the case, it needed more. It still looks really good, definitely an improvement. You can see what it, granted I've sanded it, but you can see the difference. I've sort of, well, there you go, I haven't really sanded that yet. That's what it looks like compared to what it does now. So it's definitely an improvement. And still, it's a, uh, I don't know. I'd say it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Um, the bottom bit should be easier to paint. So it should look better compared to the top. But it's a, uh, it's a beautiful color. It's a bit of a weird, it's a bit of a weird color reveal, I'll admit. Because normally I should reveal this on the outside of the car. But uh, the interior is a bit that gets that process first because of just the way we're doing this one so yeah downshift blue sadly won't be out in the sun to really show it pop but it's uh it's an absolutely gorgeous color and i can't wait for the rest of the car to turn out like this next stage is of course as you can see i've masked along the join line here because it's it had to be a two-stage thing i don't think i could pull it off in one go that was awkward as it was let alone me trying to do both floor and roof in one go so I'll let this uh, cure for a, uh, another week or two, then I'll mask and I'm going to do the floor. I've also got to, uh, in a few spots because the heater core decided to leak on this side and it's kind of done a bit of pitting on some initial rust starting here and there. So I'm going to put a, despite I've chased it all back to basically bare metal, I'm going to put a bit of a rust converter on it and then I'll begin the process of doing the floor. So the interiors move along pretty darn quick. So I'll do that other section and then that'll be done and I can start to move on to doing sound deadening and stuff like that. But yeah, unreal, great color. So excited to see the rest of the car in this. And yeah, now you know what it's gonna look like. So uh, how do I keep making interesting thumbnails from here on out to do with color? Ooh, maybe it's a rainbow color or it's an invisible color, oh my God. I don't know, but I'll, I'll come up with some BS. That's what I like doing. Hope you enjoy.
soundstripe. Baby 